What is going on YouTube? Two Wheel Gardener um, Gardener video and about my unfortunate demise of my peace tree and I'm sorry for all the people who actually come to my channel for gardening information and watch videos on gardening um, I haven't been able to do it I've still been doing my garden just haven't been putting up any videos but we're going to talk about the demise of my peace tree that I've had for about five to six years I believe five years maybe um, it didn't do anything for me this year because over the last winter it decided to die on me and I'm just gonna you know talk about some signs about uh some signs to look for if your tree is starting to you know maybe die on you and if you catch it early enough you can probably you know save your tree I did not catch it early enough and so that's why we're here this video for a minute now. I'm gonna talk about the unfortunate demise of my peach tree I've had it for five years I believe was doing really good and I think over the winter last year it decided to um, not come back on me um, last let me think about last summer I started realizing some things and I was trying to figure out what was going on some of the first signs I started realizing was the leaves were turning brown and dying a little bit earlier than usual on my peach tree and I was you know kind of concerned about it so I started trying to figure it out thought maybe you know I had it under control I also had problems with peach borers and they were inside of some of the peaches that we ended up harvesting last year from um, our peach tree and I just stepped in the ant pile. Um the first couple signs were those and so I decided to try to take you can come to the tree and do like a scraping under the bark to the cambium layer I believe that's the correct name for it and it should be a little bit of green under there and what I realized was some of mine was turning brown which is not a good sign it means the tree is starting to die and so I tried to use you know my um, pesticide that I've been using and I think that was part of the problem I didn't use it enough last year like I was supposed to and I didn't use it in a high enough concentration so it was somewhat my fault on why my peach tree did not make it um, this year and I'm gonna have to cut it down and this is the stuff I've been using it works really good I just did not um, do it correctly last year and unfortunately that's my fault but this is a pesticide that is absorbed through the roots of the tree which helps um, you know keep pest off of it and with the peach borers that come up through the tree come through the you know um, bark and everything like that they'll come borrow through the tree and end up in your fruit and that's how if you have like larva or some stuff in your fruit it's probably peach borers or some kind of um, insect coming through I also had a little bit of problem with fungus but I always been using this this clears it right up and um, like I said, it was pretty much my fault on why I believe my peach tree died. But some of the first signs were, like I said, the leaves turning brown and falling off the tree way sooner than they usually would. Like they were starting to fall off around June, maybe like July, August, which is way too soon. Um, I started realizing then come winter time, I would come out, I came out here, I usually put fertilizer on everything during the winter time a little bit to make sure you know keeps everything and I came outside and I when you hear that snap on the uh, tree that's not a good thing it's supposed to be a little bit of bend and give to it but it decided to snap and if you can see down here on the bottom the whole trunk is split so it's definitely done I was hoping that it back but after seeing that I knew it was uh, done for so I'm gonna have to um, cut this tree and start all over from scratch again start over over from a um, baby tree and start all over you know stuff happens because I wasn't paying attention too busy riding and everything like that that's the main thing about gardening is you always got to be observant about everything like I said I'm not um, I'm not like a 
pro at the gardening thing. I've only been doing it for a few years, but I've had really good success, but I'm still learning as always. And this is one of my times where I gotta learn and you know, do better. Cause I'm gonna get another peach tree. I plan on getting a plum tree also. But if you start realizing, you know, looking at your tree and the tips, like say right here, we'll just break it off. Last winter, the tips of it started like turning really black. And that's not a good sign when the tips of the tree, the uh, branches are turning black. More than likely your tree is starting to die. You know, do a cambient test, scrape the uh, bark off and go to the next layer. And you should see some green. And if you go past that, like a little bit of white flesh on the tree. And if you scrape it, you start seeing brown. Like I would scrape here and maybe see green. But then I would scrape up here and maybe see brown and you know, it started letting me know, hey, my tree is not doing so good. And like I said, I tried to, you know, catch it and try to fix it, but I think I didn't catch it fast enough. So that is why the tree ended up, you know, not making it this year, which is unfortunate because this tree did produce a lot of fruit for me all the time. And um, if you go back on my channel and watch, um, it's another video where my tree was doing good and I talked about using this stuff right here This is a good insecticide to use to um, you know control the pest If you use it correctly like I was supposed to be doing like I had been doing but not last year um, You fill it up and you literally pour it into the um, fill it, This is concentrate fill it up correctly with the tablespoons mix it to the water pour it into the uh, base of the tree and it repels the insects some kind of way I'm not sure the ins and out of it all but it works really good this bottle cost me $18 from a feed store works really good um, so if you have any questions go ahead and hit the like and subscribe so quick garden update planted us some broccoli for the fall I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do a um, big fall garden like I tried to do last year because starting a new job and everything don't know if it's gonna work um what i was just saying about um being observant i haven't been out i've watered but i haven't really looked at the plants this one was covered with aphids that one and this guy over here will cover with aphids so we just sprayed everything to try to uh, get rid of that problem but uh broccoli cabbage cabbage broccoli we still got our banana peppers a lot of them on there our marigolds back there still got a whole lot of jalapenos growing we got another one growing over here and we did get them to grow out of our uh, cinder blocks right there so my idea worked out didn't put a lot in there but it did work out walk over here really quickly we got another cabbage right here cabbage right there and our broccoli's over here. A lot of these weeds are growing in here. And our collard greens actually look like little trees right now. So our collard greens are doing good. This is three of the four. We took one out. We did have a lot of problems with uh, caterpillars this year. And uh, never had that problem before, but we sprayed these also to keep those bugs off. Got our bell peppers right here. We got a big red one in there. Let's see if we can get to him. Big red bell pepper. And it looks like slugs have been on it. So we might chop this one up and give it to the dang chickens. Because I do have a lot of slugs in my yard. Looks like slugs got that one. Um, I did plant llama beans right here and right here but my chickens got out one day while I was gone and I'm pretty sure they were in my garden they probably ate my llama beans um, I was going to replant them but like I said new job and everything I don't know if I'm going to be able to do everything and tend to this garden like I should but did plant lima, I mean uh, 
more green beans here also only one has come up a lot of these uh tomato plants from the tomato plants and the tomatoes that fell on the ground are sprouting but we don't need them so we'll just rip them out but uh oh there's another llama bean right there that just popped up um go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button I'm gonna try to keep you know what I got going. Got sweet potatoes over here still going. We'll pull them up. We got ginger over there in that little black bin. So still got some things going. Not pretty sure I'm not gonna do a fall, a major fall garden this year. So um hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. <laughs>